forward with us 300 years into the future to confront the greatest mystery ever to threaten mankind we are aboard a huge starship called the enterprise this is the return of captain kirk an alien object of unbelievable destructive power is less than three days away from this planet mr spock i offer my services as science officer dr mccoy scotty and joining them on their mission commander will decker and navigator ilea I'm sorry. That you left Delta IV? Or that you didn't even say goodbye? Get us back an impulse power. Four words. Wormhole distortion is overloaded the main power systems. The late base are all harder. This, then, is the epic journey of the Starship Enterprise, traveling to the outer limits of time and space to challenge a vast, living machine of destruction. The human adventure is just beginning. Star Trek, the motion picture. A Gene Roddenberry production. A Robert Wise film. Beyond the darkness, beyond the human evolution, is Khan, a genetically superior tyrant. Exiled to a barren planet, banished by a starship commander he is destined to destroy. Left for dead, he has survived. I'll chase him round the moons of Nibia and round the Antares maelstrom and round Perdition's flames before I give him up. There she is. There. their shields. The base is Scotty, I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me. Marooned for all eternity. Buried alive. At the end of the universe lies the beginning of vengeance. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Opens at a theater near you, June 4th. All that they've loved, all that they've fought for, all that they've stood for, will now be put to the test. Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. The word, sir? The word? Is no. I am therefore going anyway. You do this, you'll never sit in the captain's chair again. Engage auto systems. Clear all moorings. 
cleared, sir. One quarter impulse power. Someone is stealing the Enterprise. Warp speed. Cling on bird appraiser. She's arming torpedoes. Shields up. The shield's not responsive. Fuck! We're a sitting duck. Join us on this, the final voyage of the Starship Enterprise. Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. The adventure continues. Starfleet emergency, red alert. Earth is on the edge of destruction. We cannot survive unless a way can be found to respond to the probe. The key to saving the future. Spock, you're talking about the end of every life on Earth. Can be found only in the past. We're going to attempt time travel. Sulu, take us home. These are the voyages of the crew of the Starship Enterprise. Judging by the pollution content of the atmosphere, I believe we have arrived at the latter half of the 20th century. Stardate, 1986. San Francisco. Our own world is waiting for us to save it. They have 24 hours. Everybody remember where we parked. Break up. To complete their mission. It looked like a cadet review. We will beam in tonight, collect the photons, and beam out. I want you all to be very careful without being discovered. We have an intruder. All right, who are you? You're not exactly catching us at our best. That much is certain. This is an extremely primitive and paranoid culture. What does it mean, exact change? Many of their customs will doubtless take us by surprise. We're ready for beam out. My transporter power is down to minimal. I've got to bring in one at a time. You're from outer space. No, I'm from Iowa. I only work in outer space. Let's do our job and get out of here. Free! Take off, can you hear me? Free! I've lost it. Who are you? You can't. Our next stop is the 23rd century. Full power now, sir. Shields at maximum. Steady. Hold on tight, lassie. Can we make breakaway speed? That's all I can give you! Book eight. Good one. Book nine. Now. Star Trek IV. The Voyage Home. strange force has entered the galaxy. The future of mankind is at stake. It could only mean one thing. Greetings, Captain. Spock! I do not think you realize the gravity of your situation. Oh. The vacation is over. Now, the crew of the Starship Enterprise... Enterprise, are you ready? ...is taking adventure where it has never gone before. What are you standing there? From the mind of a madman, hostile force has taken control of our vessel. Mr. Sulu, full ahead. Through the center of the galaxy. You know we'll never make it through the Great Barrier. To the final frontier. Fascinating. How often have you done this? Actually, it's my first attempt. Fire the rockets! Nor I myself. This is the boldest trek of all. Warp speed now. Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Mr. Scott, you're amazing. Oh, there's nothing amazing about it. I know this shit like the back of my hand. Klingon Empire has 50 years of life left to it. To offer Klingons a safe haven within Federation space is suicide. They're animals. Jim, they are dying. And you, Captain Kirk, are to be our first olive branch. Me? The galaxy stands at a crossroads. This is the Starship Enterprise. 
We've been ordered to escort you to your meeting on Earth. Guess who's coming to dinner? I have so wanted to meet you, Captain. One warrior to another. Right. On the verge of peace. The undiscovered country. The future. On the brink of war. We come in peace, and you blatantly defy like we haven't fired. According to our data banks, we have. I shall blow you out of the stars. Now, the crew of the Starship Enterprise will not be the instigators of full-scale war on the eve of universal peace. They're coming about. Battle stations. Fights not to win battles. Incoming. Signal our surrender. Captain? We surrender. But to end them forever. <laughs> would consider an attempt to rescue them an act of war. There will never be a better time. This is Captain Sulu, USS Excelsior. We stand ready to assist you. This is fun. You do prefer it this way, as it was meant to be. Ah! Warrior to warrior. You cannot take much more of this. I have The dogs of war! Fire! Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. In space, there is no beginning and no end. But in one uncharted corner of our galaxy is a corridor to another world. A nexus where time and space collide. Past and future connect. And two generations will meet to join forces in a battle to save the universe. I take it the odds are against us and the situation is grim. You could say that. Sounds like fun. Care about weapons or power. He just cares about getting back to the Nexus. The star is going to collapse in a matter of minutes. That'll destroy everything in this system. Population. 230 million, sir. Why would he destroy a star? I have to stop him. But I can't do this alone. I need help. I know someone who can. You say history considers me dead. Who am I to argue with history? You're a Starfleet officer. You have a duty. I don't need to be lectured by you. I was out saving the galaxy when your grandfather was in diapers. Now, the torch of adventure is about to be passed. Eliminate them. Klingon vessel decloaking directly ahead, sir. Target their bridge! Full disruptors! <laughs> let's go! Bridge, we have a new problem! All right, let's move them out, let's go. Take them out. Ten seconds to warp core breach. Race for impact! Let's try and cheat death together. Warp one, engage! Star Trek Generations. In his nightmares, he can see them. In his mind, he can hear them. Look, Judas. In his soul, he can feel them. I've just received a report from Deep Space Five. Long-range sensors have picked up. Yes, I know. The Borg. Set a course for Earth. Maximum warp. Now, in Earth's darkest hour, he must fight them again. Captain, Earth. Life signs? Population approximately 9 billion. All Borg. How? Time travel. They went back and assimilated Earth. Changed history. I must follow them back. Repair whatever damage they've done. But this time, they must travel to the past. April 4th, 2063. To save our future. You're all astronauts on some kind of Star Trek. They invade our space, and we fall back. They assimilate entire worlds, and we fall back. Not again. 
The line must be drawn here. It looks like the control deck's 26 up to 11. Mr. Data and I are returning to the ship. Don't let them touch you! Uh. Captain! Data! We must activate the auto-destruct sequence. You want to destroy the ship and run away, you coward. If you were any other man, I would kill you where you stand. Let's rock and roll! Destroy them. Watch your future's end. We've lost shields and our weapons are gone. Resistance is futile. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Don't look blow up the damn ship! No! We are not going to lose the Enterprise. Not to the board, not while I'm in command. Star Trek. First contact. It is human nature to wonder what it would be like to never grow old, to experience utter peace and harmony. And it is also human nature for some of us to want what we do not have. Alert, area 12. He's trying to remove the headpiece. Do not delay the countdown. And for others to stand in their way. participating in the outright theft of a world. They were never meant to be immortal. Who the hell are we to determine the next course of evolution for this people? Radiation coming from the planet's rings continuously regenerates our genetic structure. We're only moving 600 people. We'll be able to help billions. This is the moment we've planned for so many years. How many people does it take before it becomes wrong? people does it take, Admiral? We wouldn't be tempted by the promise of perpetual youth. There are hard choices to be made. Send your ship. Don't let go of this moment. Looks like you're planning on doing some hunting. Return to your quarters. That's an order. No uniform, no orders. The environmental anomalies may have stimulated certain rebellious instincts which could affect everyone's judgment, except mine, of course. Okay, Data, what do you think we should do? Saddle up. Lock and load. On December 11th. Move these people out! Stand in defiance. Definitely feeling aggressive tendencies, sir. Hold your ground. If a court martial is the only way to tell what is happening here, I welcome it, Admiral. Join the rebellion. Blow off the ram scoop. Stand by. Full thrusters. Ah! Star Trek. Insurrection. Our eyes reflect our lives, don't they? I can see as well as you can. I can feel everything you feel. In fact, Exactly what you feel. He said he's a mirror for me. I need to know where the hell he came from. The same blood runs through our veins. It was as if part of me had been stolen. You are dangerous. Look in the mirror. See yourself. I'm a mirror for you as well. Don't be so vain. for Earth. Kill everything.
couldn't believe it when the bartender told me who you are. Why are you talking to me, man? Your father was captain of a starship for 12 minutes. He saved 800 lives. Including yours. I dare you to do better. Enlist in Starfleet. You will experience fear. Fear in the face of certain death. Pull your chute! We received a distress call. I've been waiting for this day my whole life. This day of reckoning. I've got no captain and no first officer to replace him. Yeah, we do. You are capable of deciding your own destiny. The question is, which path will you choose? James T. Kirk was a great man. That was another life. Tell off your torpedoes. Emergency evasive. Fire everything! Long and prosper. prosper.